back in 9-11, okay, it was quiet for three days and then we had a significant amount of impact. It took a lot of work and it was a lot of effort and teamwork for everyone at the airport. You have to understand, we had to get recertified, which really means like you're almost reopening an airport once again uh, and go through the complete recertification manual. What got us quickly open, I will tell you, is truly the leadership of our Deputy Director Rosemary Vasiliadis at the time, who is now our director. It took three days that we were shut down, three days of planning to figure out how we were gonna get reopened at some point. Meaning we had to go through every inch of this airport secured to ensure that things were secured. With the leadership that we had of, of our Deputy Director Rosemary and the rest of the entire DOA team, and our concessions and airlines, we got it done. Once we received authorization on September 14th to reopen this airport, I wanna take you through the experience of what the guests would have seen. Now remember, for three days we were shut down, not a single person was in this airport. As you look towards the, the roadway system, obviously you see cars coming through here now. But on September 14th, the four lanes that you see out here were filled with people. These were the security the lines just to get into the ticketing area. At that point, it was required that every bag had to be checked inside uh, that was being checked in baggage or going to go through the security checkpoint. So all of the airlines literally had to inspect every bag physically. We had a, uh, a queuing plan that extended from the inside to the outside and included the roadway system. And this happened for several days after we were open. So you're now finally getting an opportunity to come into the terminal. But this was all queued up for people to get in and at each airline, there were literally four or five, six foot tables where every bag was inspected. So you can only imagine you're coming in with your luggage only to get in line so that your luggage can be inspected before you even had the opportunity to check it in. Every guest was lined up and every airline had, had team members out here going through each bag, ensuring that there wasn't any form of uh, prohibited item uh, that would be checked into the aircraft. So now my bag has, bag has been taken. It's gonna go through and uh, to the other side to get loaded on the aircraft. Now I have a boarding pass, and now I have to get to the checkpoint. We literally had to manage these escalators because the lines had gotten so long for some of the checkpoints that we had to queue people down in ticketing all the way down this way to ensure just to get ready for the checkpoint line. The line for that checkpoint went all the way along this balcony, all the way past our Metro, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department office and further beyond. You're gonna be greeted by passenger service representatives consistently up along here, reminding you to take out your ID, take out your boarding pass, remember you have to remove your shoes, you have to take off your belts, all those various pieces. We literally had to educate every passenger on the new way of traveling. And that took some time. People weren't accustomed to it. 9-11 was a phenomenal event. Uh, changed the lives and changed the aviation industry forever. And quite honestly, uh, um, continues on.